Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is an all signs reading, a check-in for the new moon energy that's coming through, the Virgo new moon coming through on the 17th. Uh, I won't give specific details because it will depend where you are in the world. I'm in Australia, so it will be different for us. I wanted to take this moment to actually say thank you to all my supporters and subscribers because I really, really appreciate all the comments and all the love that I'm getting from you guys. It helps me. It really helps me stay motivated. It helps me do what I do. It's so lovely to have your support because I know that it doesn't always resonate for you following a reader. I follow other readers as well. And sometimes you go through phases of it really resonating and then other phases it doesn't or certain readings don't. And so I've got some really lovely and loyal supporters out there that have really kept me going because there's certain times where you think, oh, do I have the time to, or the energy or the motivation to keep doing this? But I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all the subscribers and all my lovely loyal s supporters. So this is a, a All Signs uh, reading because we want to We've got some lovely new energy coming in with this new moon. I will also be doing a new moon meditation if you want to uh, channel in and help bring in this energy. So the link for that will be in the description box below. And the new moons are all around bringing in new energy. There's a uh, talk about the age of Aquarius coming in later in the year. This new moon is kind of kickstarting something new that will last for a very long time and have a big impact in your life. So I think it's really important to embrace this newness, this new opportunity that's coming to you. And, you know, it feels very much a lot to do with career and love, but just in terms of your general consciousness and how you are and existing in the world. So it feels like a very powerful time to start this and I'll be doing this for new moons and full moons hopefully in the near future. So because it's a new moon, it's about bringing in new energy. I'm also using some different cards, decks that I have around that I don't normally use. I've got lots of tarot decks floating around. So I've got my lovely crystal decks. I've got the Lord of the Rings deck. Yes, I'm a Lord of the Rings nerd. And I've got this beautiful uh, deck that's also made by Kim Cran's a tarot deck. That is the same lady that does the animal spirit cards that I normally use. And I've got an Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle. So it's all um, it's all new, <laughs> basically. And I'm going to read these decks intuitively. So if you have these decks at home and you're going, oh, that's not the meaning that I'm taking from it, that's fine because the moon, moons are all about getting your own in intuitive messages. So if you're getting a message, a very strong message from the card, that's actually really good and really trust your intuition over what I'm saying. It might, what I'm saying might trigger something for you, which is great. But yes, this will be an intuitive reading. So I'm going to pull the, I've got a little bag here with all the star signs and I'm just going to pull them out of the hat. We are starting with Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's get started. I'm going to pull four cards for you, Scorpio. So first card out is the Ace of Swords. Wow, look at that. It's such a beautiful card, isn't it? With the snake curling around and it's forming the infinity symbol. This is really a breakthrough, a moment of clarity for you that's coming through with this new moon energy, with this ace of swords energy. And it's almost like a lightning bolt. It's like a blessing from the heavens. And it might be one of those moments where you're just sitting there and suddenly boom this idea just comes into you or this just it's like suddenly a realization there's knowing and then there's realizing and this is like fully realizing this could be a brilliant idea for some of you coming through but I feel like this is something that's been a long time forming uh, it it's something that could have been like hidden underneath and you may not have been aware that it was there and suddenly it's just erupted and it's time for this to come out. So there will be this lovely moment of clarity and I feel like it will cut away the old as well, cut away a lot of old things. So it could be related to mother as well with that snake energy, but it feels very potent and very empowering. So let's pull a crystal card for you, Scorpio. What crystal energy do we have coming through for you? Oh, we have red jasper has come out. 
healthy boundaries. Now, if you have any red jasper or anything that you're wearing red, I'm wearing red right now, that might actually help you with connecting to the energies of the moon and connecting to this new energy, this new idea, this new opportunity that's coming through for you, Scorpio. Uh, so red is also the color of the base chakra. So it's all around letting go of some fear. It's all around feeling comfortable within your space where you are feeling like you belong. Uh, this could be very much related to home. It can also be related to uh, your workspace where you're working. And so that's why healthy boundaries is coming up as a as a message coming through for you and the Ace of Swords together, you know, this is making a very clear space for you. And it feels so important for you, Scorpio, in particular, because you're very psychic. You can go very deep emotionally. You know, you need that space. You don't want to be affected by other people's emotions. Not that there's anything wrong with it. You can be around loved people, loved ones, but it's setting up very healthy boundaries within your, I feel like it's very close space, like within your home space or business space. Also, around your body it can be um, wanting to do cleansing around your body making sure that you're in a safe space all these kind of themes are coming out so let's have a look at the lord of the rings and two cards have come out for you we've got the star beautiful and the seven of cups and the star cards card says the light of the evening star shines through galadriel's ring and the seven of cups is the seven palantry show many things, but not all are true visions. And so it's very interesting that you're getting that. There's so many, um, there could be a lot of possibilities, a lot of choices, a lot of things opening up. A lot of people, I feel like you will see through it all, Scorpio. You'll have this razor sharp uh, sight, th uh, third eye, as well as just a sharp mind with that ace of swords coming through for you. So you will see through people's deceptions. You'll see through people's motivations. Very, It will be heightened at this period. And you will see through the choices that are ahead of you and know what's true and what isn't. With the star card coming in, there's this sense that your intu intuition is going to be very heightened as well. There's blessings coming through for you. Very, um, there is a sense that this is shining through you, that you are, I just get very, very, you're going to be very, very psychic, but there's this sense of, uh, this lovely unknown blessing that's coming through Scorpio. The It's like synchronicity. It's like lady luck is shining down upon you. So this could be wishes coming true for some of you. This could be a long awaited wish that's coming. So it's, uh, it, but in all else, the star card renews hope in a time where it has a time of darkness or a time where it has felt dark. And it could have been a period of confusion as well. So let's have a look at these Aboriginal dream time oracles. And we have ancestral stories. Isn't that a beautiful card? Very beautiful. And I feel like this is something that is very deeply ingrained in you. This could be a belief system that's that you're cutting the cord on, you're cutting through that has been something that's passed down through generations here. And again, it's that sense of where do you belong? The ancestral looks at your history. It looks at where you are come from but also where you come from defines where you are now and where you're going in the future and these are all the things that you're bringing into balance and letting go of what you don't need and so you can step into the future and create your own history your own ancestral line your own future for those that are passing down behind you and after you and it doesn't have to be genetic you know it can be a uh, a sense that you are a soul family as well, but it feels like this incredibly um, powerful opportunity to cleanse some of that karma, to cleanse some of those beliefs. So, yeah, really powerful time for you, Scorpio. And I just love the fact that it started with the Ace of Swords because this is so the sword of truth coming in. So truth will lead the way for you. So that's it for you, Scorpio. I hope that you have a wonderful time. I hope that helped. So let's move on to, I'm just going to put these away. Who do we have next? We have Pisces. The water signs are wanting to come out. Okay, Pisces. So let's get started. What energy is coming through for you? What messages and information is coming through for this new moon energy coming in? 
So we have two cards have come out of this deck. Ooh, we have the Empress and we have the Eight of Swords. It's hard to try and <laughs> I'm trying to look at the Roman numerals there. Wow, this is powerful, Pisces. The Empress is all about expansion. We can see the cocoon there, that lovely butterfly that is ready to break free. But it's time to let go. It's time to surrender to that process, that it's time for a huge transition. And all that that has been blocking that, the blocking this abundance coming through, this growth that the Empress is bringing in, is now being asked, your intuition has been asked to clear that out of the way. So we can see it's almost like this vulnerable part has been under threat. This vulnerable, beautiful thing that you are expressing in the world or a part of you that you've held hidden or a part of you that you're wanting to bring out into the world. This part has almost been like, it's like your own self-sabotage or mind has stopped it for whatever reason or it's felt like it's been under attack and now is the time for it to, to for to let that go to let go of whatever is stopping that and to embrace the lovely abundance of the empress energy now it's interesting we have that crescent moon i feel like your intuition is going to really strongly guide you here pisces so there's something very beautiful about to birth into your world so let's look at the crystal cards and find out what sort of crystal energy is coming through for you. So energy for Pisces. I do feel like it's this one. Oh, citrine abundance. Look at that, Pisces. Wow, you've got the Empress and citrine. So this is a wonderful time to manifest and bring in abundance and some more money that's coming through here with this citrine. Citrine is also about motivation finding the motivation to do that and pruning and chopping away and cutting the cord on things that have been holding you back. So, wow, beautiful. This is a lovely golden energy. It's a lovely energy. So wearing yellow or gold or being attracted to golden things, could be money, <laughs> coins, uh, just kind of I am a money magnet. I'm attracted to I love money. It's these sort of mantras that you can manage. If there's any meditations out there, I will record one eventually. I might do it today. We'll see. But if you can look up the any kind of manifesting or removing abundance blocks, that's going to be really helpful for you. This is stepping into your power and following your heart. So, yeah, it's beautiful energy coming through for you, Pisces. But, yeah, very strong, abundant energy. So let's pull some cards from the Lord of the Rings. What do we have? The Tower. <laughs> My goodness. And that um, all thank under attack from the Ents. That which has been built on ba bad foundations will be reduced to rubble. And that's what we were saying with this. It fits in so well with this card that anything that has um, been... And I feel like that's what why this has felt like it's under threat. There's a part of you that you're wanting to express or put out into the world that's felt like it hasn't been safe to do that. And that's what this tower energy is. It's been a false, whatever, for whatever reason, the false energy or structure or belief system or relationship or situation or whatever it is, this can be also your own protective barriers opening up. It's all being reduced to rubble so that it's now creating a protective space for this to blossom and bloom and tra transition into abundance. So tower energy can bring in disruptive energy. I feel like in this case, it's actually really positive. I actually love it when the tower energy comes in because it brings necessary change for your own good. So the only way it's only it's hard to go through is when you're attached to those old ways of being. Because yeah, sure, they protected you, but did they stifle your growth? So these are the questions that are being asked of you, Pisces. So let's pull a card for the Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle deck and see what message we have for Pisces. You might want to get some citrine and even put it under your pillow or wear some if you have some. We have Father of the Sky. Wow, that's so beautiful. And you can see that 
that reminds me of the moon. And so I feel like this is going to be such a potent time for you to be able to take off and see very clearly from a spiritual perspective, from a very high divine perspective, what it is that is changing here. So it's a very highly intuitive time for you guys, Pisces. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of messages from spirit. So you're going to be guided very, very strongly protected and guiding, guided from your spirit guides or from people on the other side or your soul and spirit. So it's a very really powerful time for you, Pisces. So yeah, it's a wonderful time to start manifesting and manifesting abundance. All righty, Pisces, that was beautiful. I'm just going to move on to the next card, the next sign. So let's see, who do we have next? Cancer. My goodness, you couldn't, the three water signs came out first and I have really no idea what order all of these are in. So Cancer, you're up next. Okay, beautiful Cancer. Let's see, what can we get for you? What energy is coming in for this new moon? What messages are coming through for you with this new moon in Virgo energy? We've had a couple of cards come out. Three cards. We have the four of swords. Oh, four cards. The devil. Sorry, I'm just going to hold them up here. The, the four of swords, the devil, the world, and the seven of cups. Or is it the nine of cups? It's the nine of cups. I've got to like learn how to read Roman numerals here cancer but I'm tuning in intuitively anyway so I want to group it like this so let's look at the four of swords and the devil it's time to actually release yourself from something that has held you stuck in the past something has stopped you moving forward so through this the process that will help you to do this is actually that four of swords energy which is taking a rest taking some time out a period of recovery so this can be recovery from illness it can be recovery from addiction it can be recovery from financial stress and debt it can be recovery from feeling stuck recovery from fear it can be recovery from a toxic situation it can be any of these things coming through i get so strongly that if you can tune into your third eye of wisdom and meditate or contemplate, you will be able to find the answers to be able to release you from this. But yes, it's been painful, Cancer, and it could be a sense of, you know, to move forward, it's can you take the heat of it? It's like walking over hot coals, and it's almost like once you get to the other end, you realise it was all in your head and there was nothing to worry about in the first place. But there is a sense that you can overcome that now with this energy that's come in. But definitely get some good sleep, take some rest, take some time out to gain some perspective here and contemplate and meditate will really help you. So we have also coming through for you the world and the nine of cups. So this is the energy coming in is the nine of cups is all around fulfillment. But again, we have that crescent moon. It's your intuition that's really going to be connecting in and helping you complete this cycle can move on from this so it's it's ending it's finally laying something to rest that has actually been quite a painful cycle for you here I'm getting cancer so yeah I think that's really positive and so there's fulfillment and happiness on the other side of this which is beautiful let's pull some crystal energy for you cancer and see what's coming out for you from the crystal cards what message do you have for cancer? Two cards. I've got lots of messages for you. So we have meditation. Now I am doing a med new moon meditation. So the link will be in the description box below. So that could actually is coming through as very helpfully for you. Amethyst. So this is a card of healing. Uh, it The color purple. So again, it's around your psychic ability as well. Your third eye or even your crown chakra. Uh, so it's around finding some clarity of space that for I really feel like this is connected to that four of swords energy. It's just so important for you to take some time out for yourself to find these answers, to find this clarity because it's coming in for you. There's a deep healing coming in here for you. 
So then we also have, I don't know if I can say this, but pyromorphite. And the, the message is patience. So again, you've kind of, and if you're trying to push, push this cancer, it's only going to bring more pain. It's allowed the art of letting this energy kind of flow through and move on is actually being still and allowing the divine to let this go and help you let this go. And so it is going to require patience because it's, it's not going to move as fast if as you perhaps want it to, but that's a necessary energy that's coming up here. And we've got this beautiful greeny yellow color. It's asking you to connect to your heart, your heart chakra. So those colors, if you're wearing green or yellow or limey kind of colors, uh, they can really help you. They could help you um, feel confident, feel like you have the strength to move beyond this. So yes, patience, but it's still happening. It's all happening. So let's pull some cards from the Lord of the Rings for you, Cancer. We have the Five of Cups. The companions are disillusioned after the loss of Gandalf. So, yeah, I mean, I can understand that there might be a moment, a time, there's a loss here that you're letting go of. And there might have been a time in your life where you were dis disillusioned or even this process might bring up a sense of disillusionment and disillusionment. I do feel like with this, there is the ability to move beyond this. And that's part of, I think, this devil energy that's come up here. You can see that the, the goat's feet are on fire. So there is this sense of feeling, lacking motivation, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move forward, thinking kind of what's the point? What's the point of all this? Like why bother? And, you know, that's all being, if you have been feeling like that, Cancer, again, it's that message of be still, try and meditate or find a space where you can at least connect in and, and some time to yourself if meditation's not your thing, which is fine. Uh, so the Five of Cups is really there's a, a sense of, Letting go of that energy that you've given up hope at some point in your life. So, and it's surrounding a loss. So it's, I feel like that's connected to what's held you back in the past, what stopped you from moving forward. And that's what's being healed because we're moving into the nine of cups, which is fulfillment and happiness. So message from the Aboriginal dream time. We have Father of the Sky and it's interesting, Pisces just got the same. So it's like a very um, intuitive energy. It must be very powerful energy for you water signs. If you have any Pisces in your chart, this will be particularly potent for you. But yes, the moon is going to, if you can tune in and connect to that moon energy, it's going to bring you some answers and the clarity that you need to be able to see this all from a higher perspective and actually be able to it's like an eagle eye. There's messages from spirit coming in for you, Cancer, as well. And so it's kind of giving you, what I'm getting here is that spirit or your soul is bringing in a, a broader, wider perspective than you've had before on, on this. So it's showing you from a soul perspective how it's seeing this playing out. And it might be very different to how you've experienced it or how you've kind of interpreted it, it in your human world. So I think by seeing from this higher perspective and seeing very clearly, it's going to help you release this energy. And part of it is like this sense of disillusionment is because you are being asked to be patient. Like there is this sense for me, I just get this still bubble around you, Cancer. And that seems to be really important for you. So how easy this is going to be is how much you try and struggle against that stillness. So you might be asked to just, uh, you might just feel like reading a book or not going out as much, uh, not doing as many things. It, it, you might feel like time to yourself and it's okay to not be doing things at this moment in time because this energy is clearing anyway. So 
<laughs> See, George the rooster's totally agreed with that cancer. So I do feel like there's this, this powerful ending of a cycle here. It's bringing in happiness. It's bringing in a lot of fulfillment and letting go of some of that energy on your emotional level, your heart level, your water level that has kept you feeling stuck. So it's releasing that and moving forward. So I hope that helped, Cancer. Then move on to the next sign now. We'll see who comes out. I mean, pull out some cards. Oh, I just got to get these cards in a good order. Okay, who's up next? Leo is up next. Okay, Leo. Let's see what this Virgo new moon is bringing in for you guys. Let's see what lovely fresh energy is coming in. We have, oh, three cards have come through. The world, the seven of cups and the six of pentacles. I've got to try and re read the Roman numerals here. So, oh, wow. Gosh, there's money coming, Leo. There's an ending of a cycle and... I feel like it's been around not having enough money or not being open to receive or feeling like you're giving too much to somebody else. There's a balancing out in the giving and receiving in a relationship coming through here. There could be a balancing out of money coming in that's going to help restore and bring balance to your world. So it's uh, an ending of a cycle that was a struggle around that, around money, around not having enough, it could be around debt. Uh, so there's, there's, this is the six of pentacles is a gift. It's a gift from the universe. So this could be a gift from somebody. This could be winning a small amount of money. This can be inheritance, but it's not given in the spirit of you must owe me and give me something back. It's given as a blessing from the universe. Yeah, sure. You might have repayments and all that sort of stuff. That's always going to happen, but the intention behind it is a blessing from the universe. And so, yeah, bringing this wonderful change and fulfillment, happiness coming through for you, Leo. So let's see what I feel definitely the, the energy coming through is bringing money. And we had, ooh, as a crystal energy, we had success, orpiment. And look at the beautiful orange and yellow and hues of deep red in there as well. This is like a fire energy. This looks like you, Leo, doesn't it? So this is a real Leo energy, but it's bringing through that money is going to bring through success. It's going to platform towards something. So if you're thinking of starting a new project or a new business or just even kind of any kind of renovation around the home, it's completing something that has felt very, very stuck for a long time. So it's connected to success. It's also very much connected to your sacral and your solar plexus chakras, if you, want, if you know where they are. They're kind of around your navel and just below your navel. And the colors of gold and orange it will be helping you. It's about stepping into your power. It's also very creative energy. But, yeah, bringing money and success through for you, Leo. Very potent time for you guys. So what else can we get? What cards can we get from Lord of the Rings? Message for Leo. Message for Leo for the new moon. Energy coming through. Oh, we have the star card. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. And it says, the light of the evening star shines through Galadriel's ring. So again, there's this sense of blessings coming to you, Leo, but this is on more of a spiritual level. This is renewed hope, finally, that things can shift and change. There's wishes coming through, coming through, coming true here as well for you, Leo. So when the star is shining down on you, now is the time for you to feel like you can shine again. So I feel like you're stepping back into feeling good, feeling good on a deeper things that have been bothering you on more of a subconscious or worrying you deep down because the star shines and illuminates the darkness. So it's those things that have 
kind of been deep down and worrying you is now um, being lifted. There's hope restored. So, yeah, beautiful energy coming through, Leah. <laughs> okay, let's look at the Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle. What message do you have for Leo? Message for Leo? Oh, we have healing journey. How beautiful is that? And I feel like this is very, uh, you can see the connection between these two people here. This uh, abundance and this money and success that are coming in is going to help you heal a relationship with a significant other or someone close to you, like a family member. Uh, but it does feel like this is something that has been long overdue. And this is connect. There's a very deep healing connected to this new opportunity coming through for you, Leo. And it's connected to all that darkness that we were talking about with the star card that it's connecting you to your heart, connecting you to your emotions and connecting, feeling connected to a partner, uh, more connected. It's bringing you closer to someone in particular. So there's going to be this closeness coming through. So you're going through this very profound healing journey, but it's with somebody else and it's bringing you closer to them. So beautiful energy coming through for you, Leo. I hope that helped. Okay, let's move on to the next energy. So let's see. Who do we have up next? Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you're up next. Let's see what have we got for you. So what energy is coming through for you, Gemini, from the new moon in Virgo? We've had some cards come out, three beautiful cards. We have the moon reversed, the mother of cups, which is like the queen of cups. And we have the eight of the eight of wands. I'm just got to try and work out these um, Roman numerals, Gemini. So just bear with me on these cards. So beautiful energy coming out. I'll just show you these coming through. So, yeah, I feel like. It's actually interesting because what I feel like you're getting is very much a direct message that's coming straight to your material reality, to your 3D world, to your human existence. It's not coming through your intuition. It's like, bang, a direct line straight to you. So you will see it in front of you. It's like completely concrete because we have the moon reversed. It's like, no, this is not your intuition talking here. This is like it's just coming directly in from spirit, from soul. And suddenly it's like communication that's just come straight in. But I feel like it will be very concrete. You will see it. And we have the Mother of Cups and isn't that beautiful? You know, this is something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Uh, this is also, it could be related to your mother energy, uh, but it's also about the purity of love and the purity of loving yourself unconditionally. So there's this beautiful energy coming through around that for you, Gemini. So if there's any issues that you've got, that's going to be um, brought up to be healed. But it's actually going to make you feel like it's this new energy, this opportunity that's coming through is going to affect your emotional, your cups energy more so than any other. Uh, so there's very swift changes coming through that's going to help you nurture yourself, nurture your life, bring, fill your cup, feel that flow again, feel like your heart can open, feel like you've got lots to give, feeling like you're full of love and brimming, full of positive emotions. So it's really positive energy coming through here, Gemini. So normally for the other signs, I've been saying, you know, I've got a meditation coming through. But for you guys, I've, I've done a new moon meditation. It doesn't feel like you need to do it. But of course, if that's how you feel, feel free to do it. But the crystal energy we have is lapis lazuli, past life energy. Beautiful. Lapis lazuli. I feel like this is connected to a place specifically for you, Gemini. And this is going to be you will know this when you're tuning in and looking at this card now it's past life energy coming through here so this information or change 
that's coming through into your 3D world is connecting you to a past life energy. And that can be, it depends if you believe in past lives or not. I mean, I do, but it can connect you to something that's occurred to you in a past life. I feel like it's a positive connection or it could be bringing in people from your past in this lifetime, coming in an opportunity that was missed in the past, uh, something that you've, it just feels like it's being brought bang right forward, right in front of you, Gemini. Here it is. Something from the past is presenting and it's something that, I do feel like it's been a missed opportunity or an opportunity that didn't blossom for whatever reason. And so this beautiful, deep blue, purpley color of the lapis is going to be very healing color for you. So you might want to wear that. You might want to put some of that. If you've got any lapis, you might want to wear wear a lapis necklace. You can just wear deep blue or purpley energy um, colors. Uh, this is also around your third eye energy so it could be around healing something to do with that as well uh there could be a chakra cleanse that needs needed around that uh but yeah i just really feel like i don't get like for you guys i'm not getting so much the third eye energy and the psychic stuff and the intuitive stuff i'm getting very much wear purple wear blue decorate your house put some purpley blue things around you today like wear lavender or smell lavender anything to do with that will help so i feel like this is just i just honestly feel like this is concrete coming in for you gemma like like bang you're going to see it in front of you so Let's pull, <laughs> went on a bit of a ramble about that one, didn't I, Gemini? So let's pull a Lord of the Rings card for you. Message for Gemini coming through. And I just feel like, you know, it's very clear and direct communication coming to you something very clear and direct so it, you know it could be from a person but if that's coming from a person it's ultimately a message from spirit but it does feel like it's happening on a 3d level look we have the empress coming in for you gemini the three aspects of feminine power so there is this sense I feel like this could be, you know, we're talking about past lives. It could be, I feel like there's something ancestral about this, Gemini, about um, about the divine feminine, but how you've embodied that or your relationship with very strong females in your life is actually coming up as a theme, as something that is, um, you know, this pattern that's related to past life. That Again, we have the Mother of Cups, so it could be related to mothering the divine feminine, uh, the Empress is all around expanding that, but I feel like there's a lineage when I'm tuning in. Like the Empress brings in abundance. It's all around expansion and growth as well and harvesting. But I feel I'm reading these very intuitively for you today, Gemini, and what I'm getting is a lineage, some kind of female lineage is coming in and it's actually positive. It's helping you. And so you're going to, if you have very strong female guides around you, they're going to come in and guide you. There's something about mothers, sisters, soulmates that are female. They're just, it's this nonverbal energy that's coming in and helping you around that. So very um, beautiful divine feminine energy coming through for you there, Gemini. But yeah, definitely good time to see. You know, if you have sisters or a mother and you have a good relationship with someone like that, I feel like there's the number three is important as well. So three could be a lucky number, could be related to three people that are in your family or three very strong females or people that embody the divine feminine. It doesn't have to be female. So, but yeah, it feels like that's the number three and three people. There's a connection there and you probably do have a very strong past life connection or a very strong connection in this life. So that is coming up. So message for Gemini from the Aboriginal Dream Time Oracle. And we have, look at that, understanding. Beautiful. I think this is a dingo coming through here. Uh, so 
There is this sense, and again, you know, it's all around your human understanding on a human level. It's not so much a spiritual connection here coming through for you, Gemini, again, because dogs for me represent human, the human level. <laughs> it's just like a personal thing for me. Uh, so it's looking straight at you. It's looking straight at you and saying, now I understand. There's this sense of... And it's all connected to this cycle, this ancestral lineage, your relationship to these strong females in your life. There's a greater understanding of how and why and the why this has all happened and why these people are in your life and why you are sharing this journey together. Um, so why you are journey sharing this life together. So there's this real sense, I just get this real clear realisation coming through here uh, as to some very close personal relationships and your sole purpose in this lifetime. So I hope that helps and makes sense, Gemini. So let's move on to the next, the next person, the next sign. I'm just going to put these cards away. Who do we have next? We have Sagittarius. Please excuse my writing. Okay, Saggy, let's see what beautiful energy is coming in for you with this Virgo new moon energy. So what message do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, I like it. We've got four cards coming in. I just love this high priestess card with the tiger on it. How beautiful is that? And we have the ace of wands. Wow, those two feel so powerful together. My goodness. Wow, Sagittarius. We have the Sun of Cups, which is which is like the Knight of Cups, and we have the Six of Cups as well. Wow. Okay, wow. Gosh, beautiful energy. Now, I want to read these two first, Sagittarius. They just feel, you know, obviously the Ace of Wands is fire energy coming through, so... And with the high priestess energy, this is like, bang, something really lucky or something, a blessing, uh, just a message from spirit or the divine coming in for you here. I feel like it's associated with luck. There's a, something very lucky coming in through, through for you here, a very lucky opportunity. And this could be a new relationship. This could be a, like a sexual connection. But I feel like for m most of you with this wands energy, it's just something you really want, something you've been wanting for ages. And as soon as you see it, you're like, oh, I want that. And so it's. I feel like it's opening up a new direction for you. And it could be related to anything, career, love, those two are coming up. We do have, you know, the cups energy coming through here. So I feel like it's very much uh, connected to your happiness and your emotional body, your cups energy. Uh, it could be related to a water sign as well. It could be related to a Pisces or a Sag uh, not a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Scorpio, I was trying to say. I had you on my mind, Saji, a Scorpio or a Cancer. So I feel like this could be someone coming in and just offering you love for some of you. So this could be definitely, doesn't have to necessarily be a water sign, but I do feel like for a lot of you, this is someone offering a lot of support and love that's going to bring happiness. It could be someone related to your past but it can also be someone new. But I feel like this is a very nurturing, loving energy, this energy coming in for you. And it's actually really, I feel very safe and protected and loved. So if it's not necessarily a person coming in, this is the energy that's coming through with this Ace of Wands and this High Priestess energy. So you can see with the High Priestess that the moon, it's going to be very highly intuitive energy for you. So if you can tune into intuition um, I will also have a meditation that I have recorded for the new moon the link is in the description box below so that might help you connect into this ace of wands energy that's coming through for you it's something new it's something new that's going to ignite your passion and it's going to bring you happiness and something that's actually I feel like it's just bringing you love Sagittarius 
and deep, something deep. Because we can see, you know, the roots of the tree here are connect the same colours as the the love that's coming here. So again, that's that could be related to someone that ha you have known for a long time, the family tree. But it can also be someone that's bringing, there's something long term. That's what I'm getting around this. So if it's some a new energy coming in, this is something that's going to bring you a lot of nourishment, something that's going to be there for a long time in your life. So uh, with those beautiful roots coming down, it's going to ground you right down and bring you this lovely nourishment as well. So there's this beautiful happiness coming through for you, Sagittarius, which is just beautiful and lovely. So let's see what crystal energy do we have for you, Sagittarius, coming through. What crystal energy? Oh, this card. But I feel like this card as well wants to come through and look what it says soul connection crystal the lover's card how beautiful is that and it feels like it's a very divine connection you know we've got the white of the the beautiful white of the swan it's such a pure connection this is something that is destined there's destiny at play there's divine blessings here you two are meant to be together or connecting here so whether it's romantic or not, there's this lovely soul connection crystal coming through here. We also have, you know, you've got both master teacher cards and these are the very high spiritual, high vibrational messages that are coming through for you. So, you know, things like crystal quartz or selenite, those sort of energies that are coming through here. Uh, anything to do with your crown chakra, connecting in, connecting to the divine, connecting to the source anything that helps you with that, wearing white, feeling pure, that kind of stuff will help you feel nice. Might be, you know, changing your bed sheets and putting some nice white sheets on. Just really simple things like that. Um, bringing some white flowers into your house. If you have any of those crystals, put them around um, or wear some, some clear quartz. This is also the awakening crystal, emotional healing. So it's all around your water energy here, your cups energy. It's bringing in this pure love is going to, like I said, I felt really safe. I felt really nurtured. I felt like I was, you know, cocooned in a beautiful cloud of love. And that's going to, once you feel safe and you can finally let go of some fear or some deep held stress that's been in your body, I feel like I'm feeling it on a very deep adrenal level as well. It It's going to bring in emotional healing, but also I, I feel physical healing for you as well, Sagittarius. So it's incredibly powerful connection that's coming in here for you. And this person is supposed to be in your life. It's a soulmate connection coming through. So beautiful. So what more messages do we have for you, Sagittarius, from the Lord of the Rings deck? Message for Sagittarius coming through. Well, oh, George is heralding this one in. George is heralding this one in. That's George the Rooster, if any of you are wondering and not familiar with George. The Page of Coins. Wow. Okay. Glorfindel comes forward to meet the ring bearer on the road to Rivendell. So this is help coming when you need it most, especially related to finances as well or having a safe passage, getting to somewhere that you really need to get to. So there's hope that comes in with this. This is a helpful energy that's coming in and supporting you, especially on your um. In terms of money, I do feel like it's around finances and money, uh, around any kind of stress around that. So there's some good news around that coming through, Sagittarius, uh, and, or a helpful person that's coming through to help you with that. So that's really positive. So let's pull a message for the Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle for Sagittarius. So good news on the money front and it will come just at the right time, just in time. And you're like, oh, wow, we have rebirth. Look at that beautiful energy coming through. And it's funny when we were saying heralding, I was getting an image of the judgment card because that is very much a heralding and a rebirth energy that's coming through. 
And this is just so beautiful. It's, you know, following the light and through that connection of that pure high vibrational energy, that divine, comes this rebirth that allows your heart, it's to it's your on a heart, pure love, pure heart level coming through here. So there's this lovely new energy coming through for you, Sagittarius. You're going to feel brand new on an emotional level. Uh, it's bringing in this huge change that is going to have this impact for a long time. So really, really beautiful, this sense of stepping into the new, stepping into this lovely sense of, yeah, you've come out of the you've come out of the change, you've come out of the transformation, and now it's time to get all that lovely, lovely energy coming through. So beautiful, incredibly powerful, very strong soul connection coming in, heart healing, feeling like you can finally put some roots down for some of you as well, feeling like you can finally have this sense of belonging. I feel like it's your crown chakra as well as your base chakra where you belong so yeah it's um, releasing some fear but opening your heart mostly it's this connection coming in that is going to bring this lovely heart healing so thank you Sagittarius I hope that helped okay let's move on Okay, who's up next? We have uh, Aquarius. Yay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So let's see what energy and messages are coming through for you for the new moon energy. George is like, whoa. Oh, okay. We have the eight of the eight of wands. Boom. In it comes straight, a lightning bolt straight from the divine, straight to you. So very strong communication this is going to shake and sh shake up your world but in a positive way Aquarius so very strong and clear message or communication coming through through for you that's going to bring a swift change and yeah look at that rainbow lightning bolt coming in this is your lightning bolt moment so this can be uh, just suddenly a moment of clarity understanding from the universe but I feel like it's However this gets presented to you, whether it's a message or news from someone else, this is actually coming from, it's coming from the soul and the divine, really. So if it's coming, it feels like it's coming from the human 3D world, it's really the divine trying to bring this in for you, Aquarius. Okay, so a swift change coming through. So let's see, what can this, what crystal cards do we have for Aquarius? What's this related to? Mother Earth. Wow. Diopside. And look at that beautiful green energy. You know that I love green. <laughs> so how beautiful is this connecting you to nature, connecting you to Mother Earth? It's a deep, when you really connect into that Mother Earth energy, it suddenly your whole body relaxes. It, you feel safe again. Uh, your adrenals, your stress, your, any kind of fight or flight response it just releases any fear, any stress, any worry. And that's the energy I'm getting with this Mother Earth energy for you, Aquarius. It's also related to your heart. So the green is the color of your heart chakra. So there's a big heart healing that's coming in relating to this. So getting out to nature, connecting to nature, walking, hiking, or just staring at a tree, whatever it is that you like to do is going to be so powerful for you. You might re feel really um, uh, just get, feel like this real gut feeling to get out and do that. Wearing green or any kind of green jewelry or any kind of green stone will also be helpful, help you connect into this energy. But yes, it feels very much like um, it can also be related to relationship with mother and nurturing yourself as well. So let's move on and pull a card from Lord of the Rings. Beautiful grounding energy, though, coming through for you, Aquarius. Really beautiful. 
Ace of Wands. So I feel like a lot of physical healing. So Ace of Wands has come in. The fires of Mount Doom create the master ring. Wow. Okay. So it is this sense that there is something, this lightning bolt, bolt moment that's coming through for you. This big, this news or direct communication that is precipita precipitating this big change. It, it puts you in this state where I feel like you're releasing a lot and suddenly through this release comes this new energy. It's creating something that is going to rule a new desire that is going to rule your world. Uh, so, but in a positive way, I feel like it's bringing, it feels so deep that it's coming from this very deep grounded place from you, Aquarius, and it's bringing in this kind of new order to your life, to your energetic system. So I feel like your energy is being totally like revamped or your energy systems are being cleansed and revamped and, and it's like a whole rebirth almost coming through for you. So there's through this process, something quite very powerful is going to come. So it's incredibly, I, I just get this sense of something is generating here. There's this big, amazing thing that's being generated through this process. So for some of you that... You know, it, it the ring can represent, you know, we talked about rings with the wearing jewellery and I had this image of a green ring. It can be, uh, you know, rings can represent eternity. They can represent commitment. They can represent engagement and marriage for some of you as well. Uh, so this is something that is, I feel like it's incredibly powerful. I'm going to read these cards and I'm going to come back to that Ace of Wands because I feel like it's got more information for you, Aquarius. So we have internal strength and respect. And that owl in the respect, I love the look that it gives. It's just like it's staring you down and going, respect me, respect. And I feel like this is now I'm getting very strongly. This is what that ring, because that ring had has enormous symbolism for you, Aquarius, and it's to do with respect and not tolerating anything else. It's demanding this in your life, self-respect and respect from others. And so you found this, like we've got internal strength has come through for you too as well. And it's like you're drinking from your own cup of strength to say, no, no, this is me, respect me. So it's this sense of, I just get this like very deep energy that's kind of uh, emerging and coming up and it's like, People will just naturally, you don't even have to say that. It just naturally, they will sense this rising in strength, this rising in energy in you that it, it makes you so much stronger. Again, it's something has been created in you that is immovable now. That ring cannot be destroyed. Only The only person that can destroy that ring is the creator itself. And that's you, Aquarius. So this sense of synergy, this sense of strength, this sense of power that's coming out for you. Yes, respect me. I am me. Hear me and listen to me. People just naturally will start listening to you and you'll notice a difference in the way they respond to you. And the only person that it's this realization that you choose that, you create your own, you choose your own self-worth, you choose what you will accept, you choose your boundaries. And the only person that can destroy that is yourself. And so even that realization is bringing in this internal strength. So it's incredibly powerful. And it's all coming from this um, very grounded mother earth energy that's generating deep down. So beautiful energy coming through for you, Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Okay, let's see who's up next. We have Libra. Okay, beautiful Libra coming into your season very soon. But let's see, what can we get for this Virgo new moon? What en 
energy information do we have for Libra? We've had a few cards pop over here. Quite the story. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to start with, these are so beautiful, these cards. The Four of Swords, Judgment, and it's called Daughter of Pentacles. So it's slightly different in this deck. It's kind of the equivalent of, say, the Page of Pentacles. But we have, so the Four of Swords and Judgment and the Daughter of Pentacles. There's been, a, um, you've kind of had a period of time where you've been asked to be very still. It might have been a period of recovery, a time where you just needed to rest, a time where you wanted to gain some perspective. It might have been a sense that, you know, sometimes it's hard to go into that energy of the Four of Swords, but it really is uh, an energy that is asking you to meditate or contemplate and find, be still so you can find some perspective. Now, really, I'm getting what soul and spirit is asking of you here, Libra, is because this judgment energy is coming in loud and clear, very, very strong. And it's bringing in this beautiful peace and harmony and rebirth, this balance into your life. So a lot of things are coming up to be cleared out, to be looked at, to be assessed and to actually be let go of. And that's why it was you might have had this period of needing to be still or not doing a lot, feeling like you didn't want to go out that much or socialize, just wanting to be by yourself. Not a lot of motivation at this moment in time. But then we have this beautiful daughter of pentacles coming through. So you can see that beautiful rainbow energy that's coming in as well here comes the opportunity that's being presented to you through this deep process of a deep assessment and reassessment this could be a karmic cleanse for some of you it might feel like you're wanting to clean and change things up in your world in your house in your home in your structure and this beautiful new opportunity comes in it's quite innocent it's quite vulnerable, but it's there and it brings happiness. It's very soft. It doesn't just come bang like some of the other signs have just gone bang. This is your opportunity. Yours just kind of comes in quite quietly and you have to be still to be able to see it. Otherwise, you'll scare that deer off, that daughter of pentacles off. And so that's why it's like you it, you may miss it otherwise, <laughs> Libra. So it's kind of that's why part of you've been asked to be still so that it creates the right space and foundations for this energy, this new opportunity to come through here. So it feels like it's the beginning of something, but it's something that really needs to be tended to and looked after. Oh, and then we have the Sun of Swords. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Like I know some people are freaked out by snakes, but it's such a beautiful card, isn't it? And then temperance, again, this is the balance that's coming in for you, Libra, and this is what you need. Look at that beautiful card. And then the two of pentacles or the two of coins, two of pentacles coming in. So there is a sense that someone's looking out for you. I do feel like, uh, you know, things are being brought back into balance on a financial front as well. Uh there could be family members that are actually helping you or looking out for you here with this. So things are being brought back into balance, brought back into alignment. And so something I feel like that four of swords energy was also like you needed to bring, have that space to bring this into or understand what it is that needed to be brought into alignment. So there's this very deep aligning to yourself and things that you have been gone without or things that have been unbalanced. It's a very deep balancing. So it's beautiful energy when this temperance energy is sitting here right in the front of it. I feel like, you know, it's kind of like a question of now, what do I do with it? Now that it's come in, what do I do? And I feel like there's a part of you that's just kind of observing it going, okay, that's cool. I mean, I now feel like the butterfly, but it's like a question of there's flexibility that's coming in around finances, but how do I manage that? How do I work with that? Things are transforming. So it is bringing balance in, but there's also bringing balance in the decision making and the money management as well. So 
that seems to be really important for you, Libra. So if, let's look at uh, what crystal energy we have for Libra coming through here. These were meant to be short readings, Libra, and they just haven't ended up like that. I've had too much to say. We have fluorite. We have learning coming in. And, you know, this is this beautiful, greeny, limey energy coming through with fluorite. It's about opening up to new things, new skills. It can be higher learning in terms of spiritual learning, but it's really um, this process of bringing this deep rebalancing that's coming through here. You're learning so much about yourself. You're learning about what works in the world. You're also learning to new skills that can help remain that, keep that balanced. So I feel like this is what you just, it feels very gentle. You're being very gently encouraged to do this. It's around your heart area as well. This is going to bring in happiness for you, Libra, because we have that beautiful green, which is around your heart chakra. So if you have any fluorite, like it comes in different colors, like this is actually fluorite. So it can come in um, different colors, like I said. But if you have any wearing it or putting around your home or even just like this green green seems to be the important color that is coming through here for you so connecting to nature as well might be important wearing green will help you feel like uh, I feel like wearing green will help you feel safe and protected throughout this journey and nurtured so yeah beautiful energy coming through for you there Libra now let's see what the fires of Mount Doom have to say the Lord of the Rings cards what can we say? What information have we got for Libra? Oh, the Ace of Wands again. And look what we got. The fires of Mount Doom create the master ring. I don't know. Like a, It's just funny how this happens. The Ace of Wands. It, you, sorry, I said again, but I got that confused with the Son of Wands. But yeah, this is... um. Something very powerful is emerging in here that's going to be a new way of ruling your world. It's creating this balance that is that it's related to the balance, it's internal balance, understanding fully what it is that you need in your world to keep you balanced. So this is something that only you can create and only you can destroy. And so it's about owning that and understanding what it is that you want that brings you that that brings you that happiness so this is uh you know something that you could keep for a very very long time it's building something powerful a new internal law so very very um, powerful new energy that's coming in and emerging from somewhere deep down inside of you Libra gosh okay so let's look at the Abor Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle Oh, wow, we have dreaming. How beautiful is this card? It's so beautiful. And again, we've got like a birth of something coming, something new energy coming in. And so it's allowing yourself to dream, but it's also connecting back to a very elemental part of yourself, an ancient part of yourself, connecting back to what your story is, who you are. And so it's bringing you by... That's where you're going to find that balance as well. So this is all about, you know, your element, Libra. And so, yeah, it's about the stories you create for yourself, but the story you want to create. So it's looking at all those things, and that's what that Four of Swords energy does as well. So I feel like there's this amazing opportunity now to manifest the vision that you want for your world. So that's the information I'm getting for you, Libra. Beautiful. Okay, I hope that helped. I'm moving on now. Moving on to the next sign. So who have we got next? These are fun, these readings. I'm liking this one. Okay, Capricorn, you're up next. Okay, what message do we have? What energy is coming in for Capricorn with this Virgo new moon energy? 
What new energy is coming through for you, Cap? Whoa, lots of things there. I actually feel like this. You've got. I had a choice. You've had a choice here, and this is what is coming in. So Capricorn, I see we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands coming through for you guys. So I'm going to start with these two because I feel like, yeah, you have had a choice and it was kind of like something wasn't working here and you weren't sure about it. You're kind of getting yourself into a better position, but you weren't maybe getting the results that you were fully looking for. And so there was some questioning about, the choice I think is do I stay and grow and work with this or do I just leave it like it's not kind of going anywhere and that's where I feel like there was a choice that came in here with something but the energy that comes through with the new moon energy is the three of wands and the six of wands so suddenly there's initial success and victory and success we move straight to a lot of success comes in here so I feel like if you stick with the with some, whatever it is that you've been wanting to kind of just go, I don't want to put any more time and energy into anymore, it suddenly comes good. So suddenly that success that you've been looking for um, comes through. So I feel like this is something that, yeah, that you were so close to letting go by the wayside and finally you're going to start seeing results but not just any results like go straight from the three these are the two success cards the three of wands is initial success but then it goes to the six of wands which is victory so it goes it has very quick it's like boom boom it's not just you know very gentle it's like just out of the blue there's some kind of success that's surprising and it doubles it's it kind of like initially you're like oh wow I wasn't expecting that and then it just doubles so yeah it's like um I think that something's going to surprise you here Capricorn now these cards just came out already and again a lot's coming out for you guys uh so I'm going to read them because they feel right now her commit I've got to say this her come a diamond is upside down and it's dream so this might have been a dream that you'd let go of that you'd abandoned and and kind of felt like you'd lost it's coming back to you big time there's success around this so we have past lapis lazuli past life this is something from the past that hasn't uh fully evolved into what it what you need it to be on a soul level so whether that's something in your past in this lifetime or something from a past life depending on what you believe but it feels like it's coming back to be done again to be done better again this time to reach its full potential so and then we have selenite which is spiritual awakening and i do feel like this this is actually selenite here this big big crystal so it is, does connect you to your crown chakra. It does connect you to your intuition and your divine. And I feel like this is letting go of something, this past life energy that's been there is actually going to just open you up and release that and connect you to a higher vibrational. So it can actually bring this spiritual awakening. So if you have any selenite around, it might be good to go out and get some or bring it, uh, have it within your you know, you can sleep with it by your bed as well. And you can have these amazing dreams, Capricorn, that can come in. But there is a sense that something within you is being awakened. So this selenite crystal, if you have any of it or you can get your hands on it, can be actually very helpful for that. You can meditate with it or just wearing white might and or purple and blue might be really powerful as well for you. So we also have moonstone coming in. So I think that, it, again, it's the, the moon is going to be very uh, powerful for you so if you want to meditate or contemplate or anything around the moon uh, I am doing a, a new moon meditation so the link is in the description box below uh, but we have cycles here so it's actually important to know that this is a, something that's coming back to you again so you know it's something you thought you might have been finished with or something that again you thought was nothing nothing was going to happen with it it's coming back to you and so it's kind of like saying you know cycles come and go things end and things begin and now it's time for this to flourish this thing in your life and that wasn't the right time so it's understanding 
that it's more to do with the divine timing and elements in your life weren't right. You weren't in the right space for that to happen and now you are. So the moonstone is very powerful for that to let you know. It also connects you in very strongly to your intuition and your psychic abilities as well if that is something that you're into, your healing abilities. And I know a lot of you already have that, are really into that. So let's pull a card from the Lord of the Rings. We've got the Ten of Wands. Sam carries Frodo up the side of Mount Doom towards where they can cast the ring. The burden will soon be lifted from Sam's shoulders. And this is something I do feel like it's something that kind of could have been quite heavy that you've carried around with you for a while. And so coming back to the source, coming back to that spiritual energy, that spiritual awakening, there's a chance to throw that old energy into the spiritual fire and have it cleanse, like a karmic cleanse. And so it does feel like it's now time to let go of something a, a burden that has been weighing you down Capricorn and I almost feel like you've let go you kind of gave up on the idea of being able to let this go it's just something you've kind of agreed to live with for a while forever maybe and just never thought you could release it but now there's a really powerful time to do that and again connecting back to the source seems really really potent and important so connecting into your soul energy your source energy just into yourself and who you are so that's going to feel really good so let's look at this aboriginal dreamtime oracle and see what's going on what message do we have for capricorn And again, like I mentioned at the beginning, I don't know if everybody heard, but these are all, the new moons are all about bringing in new energy, bringing something new in. And these are cards that I have lying around for ages. And for some reason, I just don't use them in my readings. But today I thought I'm going to pull them out and use something new. Wow. Okay. Ancestral stories. And this is really interesting because we're talking about the whole past life thing and things, cycles. And that's what ancestry is about, history, about where you've come from, belief systems handed down, but also where you are now, but also where you're going and what you're handing down and bringing into the world. And so Again, it feels very tied to the past. Something from the past is now being able to be let go of and released. So it's incredibly powerful, powerful time to be able to do this. And you can see that they're kind of floating and connecting in like to that those sort of spirit world and connecting to the spirits. It could be that people like that have passed that have been your ancestors or relatives or are actually sending you messages and looking out for you as well really strongly at the moment, Capricorn. But yeah, it's also, again, the message to connect into spirit and source to get those messages coming through for you. So I hope this helps, Capricorn. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Just put these away. Who's up next? Ah, Taurus. Beautiful Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's see what this new moon energy is bringing in for you. What messages, energy is coming through for you. So what information can we get for Taurus? Okay, just when you thought something was going to happen, something totally different happens. And that is this, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> A big change is coming in for you. Something unexpected, but it's... An unexpected change of fortune coming through for you, Taurus. So this is, uh, yeah, this is exciting. Uh, you're not going to see this coming, I don't think. But uh, yeah, very exciting coming through for you. That's the message that I was getting for you, Taurus. A big change coming through, but for the positive, I think. Let's pull, let's pull some cards for you. We have Emerald, Emerald City compassion coming through so this is actually I feel like that's connected to the surprise it's something that someone will it will open you up to either see compassion or have compassion for yourself or someone or vice versa someone seeing compassion for you and understanding you more 
But yeah, it's kind of like you were going that way and suddenly you're heading this way towards something else. And there's this beautiful heart healing that's coming in with this compassion card uh, that is around self-acceptance and self-love. It's something magical. I kind of get um, Emerald City as well. I'm getting that this is going to be quite an interesting magical journey, but ultimately the journey is knowing what you were seeking for, you had all along, and you can always come back home to yourself. You have all the means to do that. So, yeah, I feel like there's a reassessment of where you thought you were going. So I'm going to pull some cards from... The Lord of the Rings. Let's see what energy. I might pull a clarifier for that Wheel of Fortune. If We'll see what other energies come out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wheel of Fortune again, Taurus. So, wow. The ring bring, brings benefits but eventually dominates one ring to rule them all. So, but it's actually, I feel like, you're, what you're being told here and why so there's so few cards and so little information that's kind of coming out for you here Taurus is expect the unexpected there's something coming in here that's quite unexpected but it feels like it's moving towards a a big change moving towards the the right direction Okay, I'm going to pull some cards from the Aboriginal Dream Time. What message do we have for Taurus? So it might feel like it's pretty short-lived at first, this change that comes in, but it's saying it eventually d dominates. So this change is something that's going to probably bring in a long-term change for you, Taurus, but it might not feel like that. This is a card that has come out a lot, actually, in this new moon uh, reading. Ancestral stories, and this seems to be really important. It's all about looking at your past, looking at generations and beliefs that have been handed down to you, your connection to your past and how that has shaped who you are now and what you want to bring with you into the future and what you want to let go of. And I feel like the key to all of this is compassion. Compassion for those actions that people have taken, compassion for the main players in your story, in your ancestral history and compassion for yourself as well, like how you've responded or understood those things. So, yeah, there's there's definitely a big change. It feels like it's on the heart, very strong heart level, heart healing related to past events that have occurred here, Taurus. Now, I can't help myself. I'm too curious. I'm going to have to pull a clarifier for that Wheel of Fortune. I just want to get a little sneak, but I might not get an answer because I... It might just be it's meant to be something, a surprise. But I'm just going to get see if we can just get a little bit more information for you, Taurus, around it. Let's see. Any more information for Taurus coming in? Ah, here we have the Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Look at that flame. Look at that flame burning in the center there. This is something that's been burning for a while now and it might have felt like it was going to burn out and not go anywhere. And it's a sense that suddenly you find yourself in a better position to be able to move forward. So you can keep that flame alive, whatever that flame means to you, Taurus. So it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful imagery. So I'm not going to be given specifics with this card, but it's just showing something uh, very, and you know, the flame definitely connected to your heart, something that keeps your heart alight, makes your heart burn. So in a positive way. So 
Yeah, I think it's actually really beautiful. But yeah, there is an element of surprise coming in for you, Taurus, that that um, it's going to be lovely. So that's all the information I've got for you, Taurus. I hope that that helped. Okay, let's move on to the next sign. Who do we have next? Is that we've only got two left to go? Okay, we've got Virgo. Virgo, okay, the movers and shakers. Virgo, this is your new moon and your season. So I hope that you've had a very beautiful season and had wonderful birthdays and birthday blessings for you, for all of you beautiful Virgos out there. So you're the one shaking all the other signs up with this Virgo new moon energy and I'm loving it. So let's see what's coming in for you guys, like the big mummers of this moon energy. Oh, the big daddies. Well, I was being told to say the big daddies, not the big mamas. But guess what came out? The emperor, of course. The emperor. You are the powerful ones. You've reached a stage now in your life that you can sit comfortably and sit in your own authority and go, I've reached, I've kind of got to where I've want to with something. And that's what's coming in, this sense of having achieved what you've wanted. And it can be authority. Um, it can be to do with your career. This could be related to a position of power and authority, somebody in that posi position of power and authority. It can be very, it's very much the divine masculine. So it's, it could be related to father figure as well, father energy. But I get mostly... I get mostly this is the message I'm getting for you, Virgo, is that you've achieved a lot and it's now time to sit back and look at your achievements and understand where you've got, you've got to where you are because of who you are and to appreciate that and to see all your strengths and see and appreciate who you truly are. So there's this beautiful energy coming through there for you. It's very, it's successful, but the success is about self-confidence and self-acceptance. But there's also an energy of gratitude coming through for that Virgo of being grateful. You know, it doesn't mean that you're perfect and you've reached the heights of your career or you've, you are like a boss. You could, some of you, that is it, but it's more about understanding the achievements for to date and where that's taken you and and appreciating that appreciating yourself all the good qualities of yourself the strength within yourself okay crystal cards what message do we have for virgo it's a little bit a lot of messages but they're saying read it so okay opal joy there's joy coming through for you we have chrysotile which is animals which is actually reversed so some of them are actually re reversed here i'm going to turn them all around because i think that if there's more that have been reversed than the other then i'm going to keep them the right way up okay so we have animals connecting to animals could actually be really lovely time at this moment um, you might think about getting a new pet but yeah there's it could be <clears throat> There's a history there of, of animals or connecting to animals. Inner child, rose quartz. Your inner child is feeling safe and happy because it's surrounded by that emperor energy. It knows that you can look after it. So inner child is coming up. Herkimer diamond, dreams. Look after your dreams. Now is the time to dream and see that you can fulfill your dreams because you are the emperor, you are that energy, you do have what it takes. Aquamarine, we have communication. So it's important now moving forward to communicate exactly very clearly and with authority what it is that you want. And then we have Shatterkite, which is the teacher, the spiritual teacher, and it's saying you have these spiritual gifts to be the teacher now in the world. You are no longer the apprentice. You are now the teacher. So whatever you have been working on that marries really well with the emperor energy 
if we put these two together, it's like you've now reached a stage of evolution where you are solid, you are an authority in some aspect of your life. And so now is the time for you to share that knowledge and to teach others. So you're being called upon to do that. And that's where we've got the, the uh, communications really important. So a lot of throat chakra, a lot of heart chakra, a lot of uh, solar plexus energy coming through here. There's a lot going on for you, Virgo. So lots of messages coming through. But yeah, really beautiful and positive. So let's see what we can get from the Lord of the Rings deck for Virgo. We have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Coins. Bilbo holds his birthday party at Bag End. So I feel like, again, there's this sense of reaching a stage in your spiritual evolution or in your life, in some aspect of your life where you're celebrating where you're being celebrated or you're able to celebrate a milestone or some something like that, it's going to bring fulfillment, a sense of pride even in what you've achieved. And then we have the Queen of the Queen of Coins. And it is this sense that something magical and something that you previously thought was impossible is now possible. And this is to do with your um, pentacles, your coins energy. It's to do with the earth energy. It's to do with career. But it, it, I just get more, it can be also to do with love, with a lover. But I just get so much now that the pos impossible is now possible with this queen of coins card is coming through for you, Virgo. So, yeah, really powerful. Okay, let's look at the Aboriginal Dreamtime Oracle. What message do we have for Virgo? We have... Ceremonial rites. Wow. And again, it's that sense of you've now reached a passage, a ceremonial passage where you're now about to enter into a new phase, like you have graduated from one phase of your life to another. And so, again, like it's very powerful spiritually, but it's also, I feel like, I mean, for some of you, this is like a graduation, <laughs> like you might have finished a form of study or you finished. Uh, a part of your life, you finished a project, there is just a sense of something has a transition into a new phase and you've completed a phase and now gained mastery of that phase of your life. And the ceremonial rites is that it's very important to acknowledge this in some way. So again, you know, like it could be a significant birthday. We've got the birthday party that's coming in. Uh, but it's also, you know, celebration is like a, almost like a ceremonial rite here that comes in. People, it's like acknowledging. So it's not only a matter of you acknowledging it and now having anything's possible. It's a sense that it needs to be kind of um, acknowledged by the collective or the people around you as well or some sort of spiritual acknowledgement there seems to be some needs to be <clears throat> sorry Virgo some kind of ritual around this that kind of um, puts it out to the universe that this is now completed that this is now you've now graduated to the next level so some sort of spiritual or uh, graduation ceremony it can come in many forms is what I'm trying to say you know it could come in a birthday party it can come in recognition it can come in all sorts of things but you're definitely it can be just a knowing in in a knowing it can be soul and spirit just saying this to you but it's an acknowledgement of where you are now and where you've come from and where you're about to go to so beautiful reading Virgo very beautiful reading I hope that that helped Okay, so last but definitely not least is my beautiful Aries. You are last to come out, which is actually unusual for you, Aries, because you usually like to come out first. So what's going on with you guys, hey? Let's see. What information can we get for Aries 
at this moment in this new moon energy what information or messages are coming out oh quite a bit okay so i'll put these ones down for the moment i want to read these first we have the mother of pentacles which is like the queen of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles look at that how beautiful is that something amazing you're creating here and the ace of cups very beautiful energy coming through for you here Aries so this mother of pentacles energy is so beautiful it's a lot to do with and I feel like it's very different energy for you it's very grounded but it's about nurturing your relationships in your home and yourself and it can be your relationship to children or your mother uh, that's coming in here there's a real nurturing and looking after yourself it's um, grounding down looking after your home looking after people looking after your body looking after your finances and career because you're creating something I'm just going to put that down for the moment Aries this spider that's in the middle of this eight of eight of pentacles this is around something amazing that you've created or that you're creating in this moment in time it's something very creative it could be quite literally on the web the work the internet uh, but it can also be around creating a lot of connections that's bringing in a lot of fulfillment and happiness and in particular the ace of cups you know, if you sit very still in the center of this, of what it is that you're wanting to create or what it, what it is that you're creating in your world, it brings in the, the heart healing, it brings in the joy, it brings in that sense of feeling really connected. So that's why you kind of being asked to do things slightly differently, to be still, to sit right in the center there. And feel that you're surrounded. Once you do that, you're surrounded by love and nurturing. So if you feel like you've been burnt out or whatever reason, whatever energy that's coming through for you, then this energy is here for you. This is beautiful divine love and mother, divine mothering, divine mother energy coming through here. So yes, you're being asked to be very still. You could be feeling a bit sensitive at this moment to people in your environment as well. Uh, I feel like you might want to spend, some, might be wanting to spend some time to yourself, of looking after yourself as well, uh, because we've got the Mother of Swords and we also have the Five of Cups. There is a sense that you're there is uh, some kind of loss or disappointment that is being processed in your life that you are underst understanding from a higher level. And so I feel like this owl is gaining wisdom, but it's also very protective. And so it's kind of like warding people off going, hold on, I'm dealing with something very deep down, an emotional wound at the moment that has come up, that something that has come up that... Um, it's come up to be healed. So that's why I feel like you've got, you need kind of a fair amount of space around you at the moment. There's this protective energy around you, Aries. And, you know, this this five of cups energy that's coming in, there's a loss or, or something that's come through here that you're dealing with or has come up from the past. It's only come up to be cleared and healed. So let's see. And this is what the opportunity that this this. Oh, beautiful. Compassion has just come in. This new moon is bringing this new energy in, bringing new things so that it can, the opportunity can be on a very deep heart level to clear a past hurt. And here we have Emerald. And this is, I feel like you've, this is very much spirit coming in with compassion, compassion for yourself, compassion, the healing that's going to come, the healing energy comes from this compassionate energy the state of compassion, understanding why people do things. They do the best that they can within the situation, but often that's the wrong thing. They might have had the best intentions. They may not have had the best intentions, but maybe they were coming from a place of fear, but ultimately, uh, you know, they're suffering. Ultimately, they're suffering if they're doing something horrible from a place of fear. And so it's seeing a greater picture. It's kind of this understanding the oneness of life and understanding 
people's actions and your actions and responses from this lens of compassion. So again, the beautiful heart healing, the green is a heart energy, a heart chakra energy. And wearing green or having some, if you have emerald around you or anything kind of that you might want to wear, can actually help you feel protected and feel good and help um, help with the passing of this loss, that this energy of loss that is passing through you at this moment in time. I do feel like it's passing. That's what the words I was got is something's passing through you. And so, yeah, it can bring sadness when that and, and vulnerability and, and when that energy is passing through because it's kind of asking you to feel those feelings again. But at the same time, it's passing through and then it will be gone. So we've got three messages from the Lord of the Rings deck. We have the Queen of, Coin, Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups and the Page of Swords. So we have Goldberry, the Water Sprite, guards the source of water. And again, it's that sense of feeling the need to protect, feel protected and nurturing yourself. It's, it's, um, and you are being protected by spirit at this moment in time. So beautiful energy coming in. The Eight of Cups, Gollum leads Frodo and Sam through the dead marshes on their way towards Mordor. So it's this sense that you have to take a path that you're not particularly happy with, but it's the only way and it might lead to, it's like you have to give up um, any sense of kind of control to get to where it is that you want. So uh, it could be a moment of despair or losing hope as well for some of you, but it is a sense that there's a necessary passage to go through and that's we got this sense of there's a passage, something is passing through your life at this moment in time. So, But it will get you to where you want to be. And then we have the Page of Swords. Denethor talks with Pippin about his hopes and dreams. So there's a sense that there is hope here. There's hope. If there's any like warpy thoughts that are coming in around this Aries that or, or there's a sense that you've been a part of you's been lost or gone down a road uh, feeling like you weren't yourself, you weren't feeling yourself at all. There's a sense of hope. There's new information coming in, whether this is new thoughts or someone there. There's messages from spirit coming through here for you that's going to help gradually weave and bring you back to your yourself again so there's a sense that you've lost yourself somewhere along the way here Aries and these kind of um, feelings and wounds are coming up uh, which is not normal normally we'd like to keep them kind of <laughs> further deep down but they're coming up for a reason but because that page of swords energy is coming through there's news or someone that can give you very good advice or support nearby that's going to really help you get through this so as i said this is not this may not resonate for everybody but this is kind of just the energy that's coming through for you aries so let's pull an aboriginal dream time card for you we have your nemesis, patience. And that's why it is actually, you know, again, it's this sense that you need to let this energy pass through and it is going to be a test of patience almost because, again, like that Eight of Cups energy, you need to go through that passage to get to where it is that you need to go. And so, yeah, it is asking for patience, but I don't feel like it's something that, and it could be a testing energy that's coming through, but... I feel like I don't feel like it's something you can't withstand Aries. I feel like it's just asking for time here, asking to honor that this needs time to process, to be brought up and and healed. So yeah, it's one of those things like if you wanted to cut that short and go I don't want to do this anymore, you just kind of push it all back down again and it will come back up again at another time. So it's sort of like you need that need to let it flow through you to let it come out. I just want to pull one last card for you, Aries. Message from Soul, because I do feel like... Yeah, look at this. This is so beautiful. The Seven of Wands. And look at that flame. 
the flame that might have felt like it was going out inside of you and that flame in your heart and suddenly things part and things you find yourself in a better position and it's keep connecting to that to who you are to your true essence to your true spirit because that's what's going to help you getting through you're going to find yourself in a better position a much better position after the end of this but it's really um kind of yeah asking you to go through this passage at this moment in time so i hope that helps aries thank you so much for coming over to this read uh, like i said there will be a meditation a new moon meditation so the link is in the description box below please take care everybody enjoy the new moon i'll see you next time bye